I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 317, where I'm going to show you how to use manual descriptors as a descriptor override. I came across this one at my day job today, and I wanted to share it with you. I have here a model that has a list of accounts, and these accounts are showing up here in a category, and they are actually uh, linked across these different matrices. And within these uh, accounts, I have a descriptor that's associated with them. And you can see what that descriptor looks like here. Well, as I was working with my coworker today, we realized that some of these descriptors were actually incorrect. And the reason why they're incorrect is because uh, the system that they come from is incorrect. And that system is a database that we have access to, but we don't necessarily want to go in and correct them in that database because of time. We just need to try to get something out to our managers in a very uh, efficient manner and going in and changing the system right now, it just isn't practical to do. So what I want to do is I don't want to have this descriptor showing up. I want to have a kind of a manual descriptor showing up. So what I went ahead and did is I went to uh, my descriptors here, right clicked and I did item descriptors and then I added another descriptor and instead of using an expression I just put in the name and went ahead and hit OK and that's what I did with another name here you can see I just put the descriptor name as another name and then what that does is it went ahead and actually added a descriptor and then what I'm able to do is I'm actually able to go in and just manually type in what the descriptor should be for those account numbers. Now there are certain areas within the model where I still want to see the automatically generated descriptor. And so what I did with that is uh, I left it intact. So if I didn't want to see this other descriptor name and say this matrix, I could go ahead and just unclick it and it's no longer there. Also another uh, beneficial thing about this was is that by adding another one here is I only had to uh, manually update the ones that I wanted to override. I didn't necessarily have to go in and and do it to all of uh, the accounts that are shown here. Uh, I could I just did it to the ones that were pertinent to me uh, for this manual override. So again, just kind of a down and dirty way. If you don't want to necessarily update your descriptors uh, upstream because of time or maybe personal preference, just remember that you can go ahead and just actually add another descriptor and put in whatever manual overrides you need to uh, for that descriptor to be an actual uh, useful descriptor for you. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix, and I really do want to make you a Quantrix master, so I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master.